This technique, I call it conscious breath work. The technique is actually called circular connected breathing. Scientists have proven that we're made up of 99.9999% energy. And so, and that means everything is energy, emotions, thoughts, um, our bodies. And ideally that energy is just moving through us. That's not to say that there is good and bad energy. We tend to put labels on things like emotions and consider them bad and then therefore we try to avoid them or repress them. And so what happens when you suppress emotions or deny them or thoughts, what happens is they get stuck in the body. And so you can think of it like trapped energy. I like to think of it as even frozen energy because it can happen, especially from traumas, going all the way back to when we experience birth trauma, which we all experience to some degree, which affects us even in our adult lives. And so ideally you are experiencing these emotions, these thoughts, these experiences as they happen, you're accepting them, you're not making them wrong, you're not pretending like they're not there so that the energy can just move through. But inevitably, we're all going to have these energy blockages and this trapped energy. We all experience traumas. We can't avoid any of these things, but we can prevent them from really getting stuck in our body and essentially wreaking havoc. And so what this technique is doing is we're bringing in not only oxygen, but what's called prana, which is life force energy. It's permeates all living things. And so since we'll be breathing for about an hour, um, pretty deeply, we're bringing in a large amount of energy. And so what this does it is, I kind of think of the breath as like the heat for this frozen energy. So it allows these blockages to just naturally release. And which is really cool because there's not really many techniques out there that can accomplish that in such a short amount of time. So, you know, there is things like Reiki and sound healing and um, you know, psychotherapy, but with things like psychotherapy, you, most of these things, like I said, come from birth and also from age zero to seven when, um, we are essentially being programmed and we're downloading all of these things in our environment. And so to get rid of these things, we can't, we couldn't cognitively understand what those traumas or belief systems that we created at that age, so it's hard to really figure it out on a mental level to release. And so this technique is great because you don't have to figure anything out. You don't have to know where that trauma came from, where that blockage is. You just have to breathe and allow it to naturally release. In this pose, it's very easy to feel that feeling of surrender, really just letting go of you know, anything it took to get here, anything that's on your to-do list, and really just using this time to relax. And now we're gonna start breathing in a circular pattern in and out through the nose. Pausing in between the inhale and the exhale. Breathing deep into the chest. And relaxing on the exhale. That was crazy. Oh my gosh, I feel like my hair is nuts right now. Did you feel the same way I did where it's like you couldn't you couldn't feel certain parts of your body? I couldn't feel my entire body. It was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I couldn't feel my legs at one point. I felt like my hands were like seized up. Yeah. That was unreal. It was so weird. It's like I had the worst pain in my shoulder halfway through and then by the time she came back around, I was like, how's your shoulder? I was like, yeah. no, what was wrong with great. me? I just like totally forgot I was ever in pain. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like I woke up and I can't believe two hours just went by. Yeah, what time is it? <laughs> I think it was the time warp. <laughs> wow. I'm like out of breath from doing this breathing experience with you. I so appreciate being invited as yeah. part of the community here. What inspired you to get into this? Um, I suffered from really bad chronic migraines since yeah. I was six years old and had just was on pretty much a lifelong search of, you know, whatever would heal them. Yeah. Um, and I kind of went on a mission 
for about six years to really try to heal them myself. Um, and came across this technique when I was on a, um, in Thailand for a couple months, um, originally just kind of doing a yoga immersion and then um, originally was just doing a workshop for this and then saw they were doing a training and was just instantly hooked. Uh, so my cool. first session was, yeah, mind blowing. And after only seven sessions, my, it healed my headaches completely. So I feel like I've found my purpose. I'm so passionate about this this whole process and I love teaching it and spreading it so and how does teaching this bring community together um it's really uh it's a very internal personal process but um it's also since you are bringing up so much energy um the group sessions can be very powerful and um very uh connecting in a way um, I just got done with a six-week series um that I would do once a week for three hours a night. And I just got a testimonial back from one of the girls that said, um, you know, she went into it with, you know, a group of strangers and after only a few short hours, felt like everyone was sisters. Wow. It was all girls. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, it really, it's bringing up deep stuff. It's bringing up a lot of energy, but that's that's how we connect, so. Well, I feel amazing afterwards. So thank you for sharing yeah, that with me. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks for being open to it. Yeah, good work. <laughs>